Hey guys, look who's joining me. It's Bijan the Wonder Dog. Anyway, uh, welcome to my random TED Talk on keto. I just finished a very late workout. Cheers to me for doing a workout at, damn, it is 6.46. Although I have to say, I think I finished my workout at like, probably six. Yeah, but still, that's late for me. And I'm, I really am damn proud that I did it because, and, and you want to know what I did to make myself do it? This is why if you set up things in your life, whatever it is for you, that, you know, I'm doing this 100-day workout challenge, and I'll link to the last video I, I, I did. I'm, I'm setting up a challenge for myself. I'm putting it out there on social media. I'm telling my friends. Um, and then I, I got this Kathy calendar. I've always, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know I've always recorded my workouts on a, on a calendar in my closet or sometimes it's been in my laundry room, whatever. But that was part of what I thought about was if I don't, you know, it has been a really crazy day for me today. Um, my husband is, is in the middle, middle of a trial and he left for downtown this morning and realized he forgot part of these important documents that he needed for his trial. So I had to like literally haul ass downtown, take him these documents, come back. When I came back, the dog had had like <sighs> separation anxiety, trauma issues and peed all over the laundry room in his crate. I had to take him out back, give him Bijan. Speaking of which, he's out back taking apart a package from the Sharper Image that got delivered today. I'm just gonna have to let him finish. Um, I can see, I can see you. Um, I literally can see he's just, he is just like Dennis the Menace, always getting into trouble. This is, this is why doggy daycare is just a beacon of light from heaven. Um, it's just been a very, very crazy day and everything has been shifted and put off. And so normally I'm, I'm focusing on getting my workout done before noon. Well, all of these other things had to be done and I have my uh, five day online keto boot camp. My beta group is live this week. So I also had my um, Facebook live at two o'clock. So I did that from two, um, that went until 3.30. So that ran late because I like to talk. And, um, you know, just all these things ran late and this, that, and the other. And um, I just was determined to get the things done that I wanted to get done. One of them being my YouTube video for today, one of them being um, my workout. I got all of my other things done. But I hadn't anticipated heading downtown to take my husband documents. I hadn't anticipated having to take Bijan out back and give him a bath and, and dry him off and bring him inside. I hadn't anticipated that the guy that we rent this house from would stop by and, you know, that we'd have to talk to the people that are replacing the fence and, and deal with that for about, that was in 45 minutes of my day that I didn't anticipate. Um, you know, there was just all of these unexpected things, right? So it gets to the end of the day, I'm literally like mentally and physically depleted. And I just remember saying to myself, literally, this was the conversation. I said, I know you don't want to work out, but think of your Kathy calendar. I swear to you, this was the conversation I had in my head. You didn't work out yesterday. You intentionally took Monday off. Monday is your good like day to have off. You had a good workout on Saturday, Sunday. You had a good workout on Saturday. Like you've started your groove and here's what's gonna happen. You are gonna not be able to record anything. And, and what's it gonna look like to you? Like, and even though this might only be like, I could make up something. I didn't have to tell you guys, the world. I could like be shifty and not tell anybody, but I would know. And it's gonna make me feel so much better to go in there and write on my calendar and start filling in my calendar the way it used to look, where every year I would have my calendar filled up with every day, six days a week, 
work out, work out, work out, work out, and five stars after every workout, and it would make me feel so proud and so accomplished, you know? And that's what I'm aiming for. So I went up there and I started working out. Of course, Bijan's like trying to attack me and all of this, but the second I got into it, you know, I just felt good and I was so proud of myself. And then after that, I'm like, okay, you're gonna do your YouTube video. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. I don't, this is one of the other things that I did. I analyzed my day and I actually got more organized about my days that I've ever gotten in my entire life. I analyzed everything I need to do in, in a day from a productivity standpoint, and, and when I'm best with my energy, and one of the things that I figured out was, he's just doing his own thing. Bijan, you wanna come say hi? Bijan? Come here, come here, come here. Wanna come say hi? Come here. I wonder if I can pick him up. He's quite heavy. Can I pick you up? Look how cute you are. Can you guys see him? Look at that face. Look at that face. So sometimes you guys, it's the little things that motivate you. And um, honestly, that's what got me going. Once I started working out, I kept going. And of course, after I finished working out, <sighs> felt great and I can't wait to record that. Um, and then, you know, I honestly, the last thing I felt like doing, I don't know why, I just don't have creative juices. I don't have the energy. Bijan, don't get up on that chair um, to do uh, my YouTube videos. So one of the things I was saying before um, my phone call came in was um, I figured out, and, and I'm so proud of myself because I figured out how I'm gonna be organizing my days. I've kind of just let my days run me previously and that's why I haven't been as productive as, and, and my days have exhausted me previously. I've just kind of gone in and just said, you know, I've, I, I really haven't had a plan. And they, <laughs> there's a difference between being busy and being focused. There's a difference between being busy and, and being organized. There's a difference between being busy and productive. And I have definitely been a very, very busy person. Um, I'm tired of being busy and tired. I want to be productive and focused and have more of more margin in my life. So um, anyway, I figured out that um, I want to do my YouTube videos in the early part of the day. And Again, today was an aberration. Today was, but that said, I've made a commitment that I'm back to my YouTube channel. I told you guys I, I am, sorry, I hear Bijan doing weird things out there. Um, our goal is to get four videos up a week and I'm not gonna get there if I don't really start getting the momentum back and uh, you gotta start somewhere, right? So. It's uh, Tuesday and as tired as I am, I just said, just just do it. Just get your, your one video up today. You might not do what was, was on the books for today, which was shooting two. Um, you didn't get done yesterday what you wanted to do, but do something, you know? And then that's the thing, whether it's your workout or your YouTube videos or something that you need to do for your work, if you, you do something and you start your momentum, then it's in your brain. And when you, the next day you, you're like, you know, yesterday I did this, I can do that. And then I can do this. And then the next day you're like, you know, yesterday I did this and this today. I think I can do this, this, and this. And that's what I honestly, what I've been doing for like the past two months. I've been adding just a little bit more every single day. If you guys could see how much I've just been adding, it's pretty incredible. And sometimes it's so easy for us to, to only focus on the negative, what we haven't been able to accomplish. We don't give ourselves enough credit for what we have accomplished. 
So I do encourage you to do that. Remember what I say, what we look for, we will find. We've got to start looking for more of the good stuff. Bijan, what you got there? Go get it. Well, my, and actually this is way off. Sorry about that. Um, so my husband is on his way home with some really good sushi. And one of the things I wanted to talk about today before I close the loop, so today's going to be a shorty video. Um, but um, it, it's something I talked about in my, so, so today's the week, today's the week. You can tell I'm a little out of it. Um, this week is the, the week that I launched my uh, five-day online um, keto boot camp for women. So it's the beta group of the uh, five-day keto boot camp for women. And after this week, we'll probably, we will have a, a break and then we will launch the public version of this group. So if you're interested in, in taking my course down the road, um, Feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I will let you know when, once the, the page is available where you can sign up for it. Um, it's basically me teaching you how to do keto the way that I did it. Um, because so many people are confused by so many things about keto. They're skeptical about keto. They don't, but yet they've heard so many great stories. You've seen my transformation. I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds. It's transformed my life. Um, so back to what I was starting to say, I've heard things not only from people who are taking my boot camp this week, but also from clients and also from people who follow me. And then I had a friend call me this week and I just, it strikes me that what I hear so commonly about keto and I was having this conversation with my husband is one of the most common things I hear about keto is people say I I did keto in the past but when I went off the diet I gained all the weight back and I think that is such a profound statement and here's why number one let me tell you something I went keto on June 1st of last year and I've never gone off. So yes, I call it the keto diet, but I use that as a phrase. Um, I, I would prefer to call it more a keto approach. <laughs> it's just, I, I wish I could put a secret camera down here so you could just see his, he's like, he, he brings his toy and then he's like, he's got this side eye where he's like, And he's crawling like in between the cabinets and my feet, wanting me to throw it. Um, so again, I, I made this change and I, I fiercely understood, and this is what I say to the people who take my boot camp, what got you here, the state, the, the state that your body is in is is not going to help you get where you want to go. So what got your body in this state where you're at right now, starting this keto boot camp, is not, you can't, you can't do keto for five days and then go back to the way you were eating and maybe working out or whatever and think that, you know, this isn't like a temporary thing. It's not like you can, I mean, Sometimes people have the most odd and completely unrealistic expectations. You know, if you've been eating a certain way for five, 10 years, and you, you're overweight, you haven't been losing weight, why would you think that you could all, you know, say, okay, nothing's been working, so I'm gonna go change what I'm doing, and that's gonna fix it, but then I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before. Why would you go back to what broke you? Why would you go back to what made you, let me be politically incorrect, what, why would you go back to what made you fat? 
Well, why'd you go back to what made you overweight? Why would you go, why would you go back to that? It's like, let me give a, a different example. I know. Maybe I'm gonna have to call you back. One of the things that I did recently is I took a, well, actually about a year ago, I took a food sensitivity test from a company called Oxford Labs. It's an exceptional test if you've had any kind of skin conditions that you don't understand, that you can't get to the bottom of, ask me. I will put a link down below. I'll introduce you to these people. It costs about $350. It can change your life. My husband took it as well. It has changed his life. Um, I had had these skin bumps all over my body. No doctor could figure out. I'd been on drugs, all kinds of drugs for years, and, and we couldn't figure out what they were, the bumps, because it wasn't acne. Nobody could get to the bottom of it. And it turns out I took this food reactivity test. It's not that I have allergies, but what it does is it tests your blood to find out what you're reactive to. And I found out I was reactive to corn, highly reactive to corn. I removed corn out of my life and I don't get these bumps anymore. Now, when I do get bumps, and ironically, I have a little breakout. I don't know if you can see this, but like right here, uh, I, I have kind of like a breakout right here. And I know that when I get a little breakout of these bumps, somehow or another, there's something that I've been eating that has corn in it. Whether it's, have I been allowing myself to have ketchup? Ketchup has corn syrup in it. Um, have I, you know, did I let myself have some kind of packaged keto food that maybe has, you know, um, corn starch in it? Um, you know, usually I can find something sneaky. I mean, I eat just regular non-packaged foods, so it's, it's usually pretty hard. And, and honestly, I, I don't, I've been very confused because I haven't been able to get to the bottom of this and I'm almost tempted to take another test to think if, to see if there's something else I've developed a, a reactivity to. But here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. It has been so life-changing for me to have found out what I was allergic to or, or excuse me, reactive to because when I had those bumps, I got them so bad, they were so painful and sometimes they would be on my face. I mean, these are rock hard, painful bumps. Sometimes they'd be on the back of my neck and I would just touch my neck and it, the pain would shoot up into my head. They were invasive. They've scarred my body. They've scarred me. I have scars on my arms. Knowing how much that has ruined my, my experience, would I, let me tell you how easy it is for me to avoid food with corn in it. If somebody put a plate of corn on the cob in front of me, do you think I'd be like, mm, I'm going to just, I'm just going to eat it. No, I would avoid it like the play. So it's the same premise of the diet situation. You've got to tell yourself like, if, if you are so unhappy with your body and, and you're ready to make a change, stop looking. That was really my main point today. Um, obviously, I wanted to tell you guys what a badass I am about working out <laughs> when it's been a tough day. Um, no, I did want to check in with you and share that. Um, but my main point is that's food for thought. There are t far too many people, whether it's keto or other diets, that aren't thinking about more of a permanent change. And particularly us women, 40 plus, who have, um, are in perimenopause with insulin issues, we really need to be looking at permanent change. I know it sucks sometimes, but I'm gonna tell you, if you're watching this right now, I am somebody who is in love with food. I love to cook, I love sweets, I love carbs. Um, I really enjoy food. I love drinking adult beverages and I went keto June 1st. And even though I've cut out so many foods that I used to eat and love, I don't bitch about my life. I don't, I've not cheated since I've gone keto. 
I enjoy great food. I enjoy great alcohol. I enjoy my dog. Um, I enjoy fantastic food. There are so many great keto recipes. There's so many great keto products. There's just way too much amazing food and drink to have to complain. Um, and to be able to transform your body in the way that I have, I, shame on, in my opinion, shame on any woman who's going to go, I just, I can't give up bread. I, I look at any woman who says that to me and I'm just like, are you serious? Okay. Enjoy wearing a big t-shirt and baggy pants at the pool. That's all I have to say today. So I'm out. My husband's on his way home with sushi and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this sushi. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. Also make sure you have notifications turned on. If you have any questions for me about keto, about my keto cookbook, um, about anything keto related, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Also make sure you're subscribed over at my blog, kellyalexa.com. And also make sure you're checking out my podcast at thekellyoshow.com as well. I will see you guys soon here on The Kelly O Show. Talk to you soon.